Hi, I'm Russ Haker, EMV Director for Dover Fueling Solutions. Today I'm going to talk to you about EMV and what you need to upgrade your forecourt. In case you haven't heard already, the card brands out there, which includes Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express, have moved the outdoor EMV liability shift from this month, October, to next April, April 16th, 2021, to be in fact. That may seem like it's a long ways out, but October was here before we know it, so April will be too. So with that in mind, I want to share with you a little bit about the iXPay platform and other solutions that we have to upgrade your fuel dispensers that you may have out there. Now, the majority of the Wayne fuel dispensers out there run on the iXPay platform. We deliberately designed this platform to be modular so that you could replace components as needed as PCI and EMV requirements changed over time. So depending on when your dispenser was installed, you may only need one or two of these components or you may need the whole upgrade kit. And by the way, if your fuel dispensers are more than eight years old, we really recommend replacing those dispensers as opposed to upgrading. Not only will you get all of the EMV compliant components that you need to process EMV on your forecourt, but you'll also get a brand new dispenser with new hydraulics that are future-proofed for the latest in alternative fuels, a 24-month warranty, and uh, a new user interface. And that would be on the Ovation fuel dispenser line in particular. But if that doesn't fit your situation, let's talk about these components. We'll start at the beginning with the card reader. This is our secure hybrid chip card reader. This does Mac stripe reads and chip reads. So the idea being you could deploy your EMV hardware upgrades on your forecourt today, even if your point of sale provider's not quite ready. And so you can keep processing Mac stripe payments until your POS vendor has their EMV L3 compliant software update ready to put on your site. You can then upgrade your point of sale and activate EMV for your entire site. Next is the Jade board. This is really the controller of the entire platform. Everything else that's connected to it is really a peripheral. Now there's been various iterations of this over the years. You may be familiar with the IX blue board or the red board. The blue board does not support EMV. Hopefully everybody out there knows that. The red board will support EMV, but if you're planning on running something like media alongside EMV, we really recommend that you upgrade to Jade. In addition to that, if you're gonna upgrade to an ancillary service like point-to-point -point encryption or DX monitor, you must upgrade to the Jade board because the red board will not support those services. Let's talk about those two services briefly, point-to-point -point encryption being first. I'm still hearing a lot of confusion in the market around point-to-point -point encryption and EMV. In particular, uh, what I hear is that EMV encrypts all of the cardholder's data. That's just not accurate. A lot of the cardholder's card holders data is still in the clear, meaning it can be intercepted between the card reader and the point of sale. You may have heard news stories over the last six to 12 months about malware getting onto POS systems where then cardholder's holders data was intercepted on the POS. And that's exactly where point-to-point -point encryption comes in. It actually encrypts all of the cardholder data from the point the card reader is swiped to the point the information reaches the settlement bank for closure of the transaction. So the point-to-point -point solution or end-to-end -end encryption solution does exactly what it sounds like it does. EMV simply doesn't have this functionality. The other solution I want to talk to you about is DX Monitor. You can learn some more about DX Monitor in one of our other videos. But at its base level for EMV upgrades, what might be important to a merchant about DX Monitor is its ability to do PCI asset tracking and reporting. PCI requires that you maintain a database on your PCI certified devices, in this case the card reader and the pin pad on an annual basis. And DX Monitor helps you do that and helps with the reporting of that information. It also allows us to push software upgrades remotely to this system, whether it be the software that resides on the Jade board or firmware for the other components. We can do all of that remote with DX Monitor installed on your site. Let's move back to the components and talk about contactless. This is our WayneTap contactless reader. This reader is required if you want to take contactless transactions on your site, and it is equipped to do contactless transactions for all contactless cards, for Apple Pay, Google Pay, pretty much any other mobile wallet platform that is based on NFC or near field communications protocol. And then the last component over here that I'll, I'll highlight is the SCD or secure cryptographic device. This is the component that's added to the solution if you wanna do point to point encryption as we've already discussed. So to recap, fully modular solution. And you know, we did this in such a way so that you can piecemeal your upgrades as you need to. Upgrade what you want today to support EMV and add future modules 
later on as you see fit. This has been the core platform of our Wayne Fuel dispensers for about the last 10 years. So most dispensers like Ovations and Four Vistas can be upgraded with this solution. But what are your options for EMV if you've got something older than that? This is where our T7 and T12 terminals come in. This terminal's got a 7 and 12 inch color option and it uses has all the same component options as the iXPay platform, including the card reader, pin pad, either a touch screen or color screen with soft keys, the Wayne Tap module, even a 2D barcode scanner. And then the next step over, if you've got a Gobarco dispenser on your forecourt that you want to keep in place and you want to upgrade to EMV, you don't want to get rid of the dispenser, we also have what we call our eSIM. This is designed specifically for Encore 300, 500, and 700 S fuel dispensers. It uses the same components as the T7 and T12 modules, but they're mounted in this custom bezel, which can be inserted onto your Encore dispenser. And this allows you to bring the performance of the iXPay solution into your Gabarco pump, but keep the user interface look and feel the same. So that's it. That's pretty much everything in terms of EMV and what your upgrade options are. I know April seems like a long way away, but if you're at ground zero, there's still a lot of work to be done for your site to make it EMV compliant. I really want to encourage you to reach out to your local distributor or your DFS regional sales manager and start planning your upgrade today. Thanks.